reference for this session I am planning to discuss a topic based on algebra. The maximum or minimum value of a quadratic expression is most important for CGL, CHSL and so on examination. Uh, to do this topic let us consider a simple example. The example is nothing but for any real number x the maximum value of 4 minus 6x minus x square is our question. And for any real number x we want to find the maximum value of 4 minus 6x minus x square. This question can be cracked by using three different approaches. And number one is method of detection or method by using the completing the squares. Second method is exactly method of differentiation. Differentiation. And third one is method by using the formula. So we have three different approaches are there to crack this question. And let us take the first method, method based detection or method of completing the squares to the first method. Consider the expression 4 minus 6x minus x square. At first take, at first make the coefficient x square as 1 and just take minus outside it will turn to x square plus 6x minus 4. And now to the coefficient of x, nothing but 6, take its half 3 square 9. To the coefficient of 6, x that is 6, take its half 3, take its square 9. R and subtract that 9. Now it turns to minus of x square plus 6x plus 9 minus 4 minus 9. And we are adding the half square of the half of the coefficient of x, 9 minus 9. Okay. Adding and subtracting. The first three terms already constitute a perfect square that is minus of x plus 3 the whole square and second one is exactly minus 30. When we open it by using minus sign will turn to x plus 13 minus x plus 3 the whole square and which is like an orange and some portion is curved out and if you take 13 as an orange and it's like an orange where some portion is curved out we want to find the maximum value of this orange so to find the maximum value how many portion to be curved out to make the orange as maximum please zero zero number of portion to be curved out okay so to get the maximum value of this expression this expression it should be minimum x plus 3 the horse curve should be minimum what about the value at which second quantity should be become minimum please is nothing but minus 3 so at x is equal to minus 3 it attains some maximum value then I can say that at maximum value the maximum of yes 4 minus 6x minus x square is nothing but 13 minus minimum of this quantity is nothing but a minus 3 and minus 3 becomes 0 it will become 13 and 13 is my answer is a method of deduction and once again take the quadratic expression at first make the coefficient x square as 1 that is minus x square plus 6x minus 4 and now take the coefficient of x that is 6 take its half 3 take its square 9 this r and subtract the 9 the first three terms already constitute a perfect square x plus 3 the whole square minus 13 when we open it by using minus sign we will turn to 13 minus x plus 3 the whole square and now we want to find the maximum value of this expression it is enough to find the maximum value of this quantity and it's like an orange where some portion is curved out some portion is curved out how many portion to be curved out to get this quantity maximum please nothing but zero portion zero portion to be curved out to be taken away so what about the value at which this quantity should be minimum please is nothing but minus 3 at minus 3 x plus 3 the whole square becomes minimum so now we can say that at minus 3 it attains a maximum value so maximum of this expression will be 13 minus 0 that is 13 and that is the first method the second method is nothing but method for using differentiation this method is most uh, is useful for those students from science background but the students uh, from um, the non max students for the non max students the method is also applicable if we have some der derivative of some specific functions like x x square and constants so method is also useful for any students if we know the derivative of x x square and a constant term 
so derivative of x is always 1 derivative of x square is nothing but 2x and derivative of a constant term is nothing but 0 d by d stands for derivative derivative of x is nothing but 1 derivative x square is nothing but 2x and derivative constant term is nothing but 0 and one more thing derivative of a constant into k into f of x k stands for a constant it's got a c c c stands for, stands for a constant and just take c outside and now differentiate the function and please keep these four quantities in your mind for this question for a quadratic expression first of all derivative x is exactly 1 x square is exactly 2x and constant m is always 0 and when we have constant into a function at first take the constant outside and now differentiate the given function okay take the quadratic expression 4 minus 6x minus x square we can call it's a quadratic expression or function called as f of x and now differentiate differentiate the entire expression derivative of this entire expression represented by some f dash of x and what about derivative of f? 4 please 4 being a constant derivative vanishes minus 6 into a function 6 being a constant term we can take it outside and now the derivative of x obviously 1 minus x square derivative is exactly 2x this is the derivative of this function simply 6 minus 6 minus 2x is our derivative and now we want to find the maximum value of this quadratic expression so at the maximum value what happened to the derivative so first of all we must know about the meaning of derivative and what do you mean by derivative the derivative at a particular point is nothing but the slope of the tangent drawn to a function at a particular point is known as derivative at that point for example when we have any function it has its own graph is our graph of f of x suppose is a graph of y equal to f of x derivative at a specific point a is a point on the domain a derivative at a point a is nothing but the slope of the tangent and please draw a tangent at a is of a tangent at a whose slope whose, whose slope of this tangent whose slope slope it will give the derivative at that point okay it is like slope of the tangent drawn to a curve y equal to f of x at a specific point x is equal to a is nothing but derivative at that point so yes at this point derivative is nothing but this is f dash of a f dash of a is the derivative of the function f of x at a particular point x is equal to a it is the slope of the tangent drawn to the curve at a particular point is known as derivative and we want to find the maximum value of this expression so this expression always uh, at the maximum or minimum value what happened to derivative at the maximum or minimum value of any curve like this one look at this tangent please it's always parallel to the x-axis it's always parallel to the x-axis okay so slope of is our x-axis at the maximum or minimum value of any curve tangent is always parallel to the x-axis okay so what about line slope of the line parallel to the x-axis please zero which means that at the maximum value or minimum value the slope of the tangents become become vanishes okay what does it mean derivative becomes zero at this point call it as a this point a1 a2 at this point derivative vanishes okay f dash of a1 is zero f dash of a1 is zero at this point f dash of a2 is zero at all the max extreme value derivative vanishes is the only one concept okay, please keep in your mind okay at all the 
extreme value derivative vanishes since tangent is always parallel to the x axis okay therefore we can say that we want to have the maximum value of this expression all those maximum value derivative already vanishes okay which means that this derivative vanish becomes zero at the maximum value at the maximum value f dash of x becomes zero which means that minus x minus 2x becomes zero that is x is equal to minus 2x minus x x is equal to minus 3 minus 2 equal to 6 x is equal to minus 3 at x equal to minus 3 the function attains the maximum or minimum value this is x given that we want the maximum value so now you can say that at x equal to minus 3 it attains the maximum value okay. so it is enough to replace x by minus 3 to this expression now it turns to f of minus 3 is the maximum value is exactly 4 minus 6 into minus 3 minus minus 3 the whole square now it turns to 4 plus 18 minus 9 is exact 22 minus is exactly 13 13 is our maximum value at x equal to minus 3 and that is the method of differentiation okay one second please uh, look at this method for this method we must know about the derivative okay what do you mean by derivative it is a slope of the tangent drawn to a function at a particular point is known as derivative at that point so whose slope it will give the f dash of a at all the maximum or minimum value derivative vanishes tangent is always part of the x-axis the slope of any line part of the x-axis always zero now I can say that at all the maximum or minimum value derivative vanishes so and now just differentiate the function for being a constant one derivative zero six into x just say six outside and now differentiate x is nothing but one and now x square is nothing but two x this is the derivative we know that at the maximum value derivative vanishes so minus six minus two x becomes zero x equal to minus three we know that what does it mean at x equal to minus three the function attains some extreme value so it can be maximum or minima but it's given that we want the maximum value this means that at x to minus 3 it attains a maximum value just replace x by minus 3 whatever please 4 plus 18 minus 9 the 13 is our maximum value see method of differentiation and the last method for this question is method by using the formula so for any quadratic expression for any quadratic expression a x square plus b x plus c the maximum or minimum value of this quadra expression simply defined as maximum or minimum value of this quadra expression simply defined as 4ac minus b square divided by 4a is nothing but the maximum or minimum value of this quadratic expression 4ac minus b square divided by 4a at the point x is equal to minus b by 2a is our direct formula for for this question okay yes so look at the meaning look at the proof when we have any quantity expression it has its own graphical meaning ax square bx plus c is being a quantity expression the graph is always a parabola and four different types of parabolas we can draw number one is if b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant more than zero and a more than zero the parabola is like this is the parabola this point is exactly minus b by 2a and this value is exactly 4ac minus b square divided by 4a If b square minus 4ac, if b square minus 4ac more than 0 and a less than 0, the parallel is like one okay, said so downward parabola. This point is exactly minus b by 2a. This is exactly 4ac minus b square divided by 4a. And next one, please. If b square minus 4ac less than 0 and a more than 0, look at the parabola, it's like this one.
this is exactly minus b by 2a this is exactly 4ac minus b square divided by 4a and finally if b square minus 4ac less than 0 and a less than 0 the graph is like this one okay is a downward parabola without meeting the x-axis is minus b by 2a is exactly 4ac minus b square divided by 4a this is the four different cases okay these are the four different shape of this parabola of this quadratic expression okay if b square minus 4ac more than 0 and a more than 0 the graph is a upward parabola upward parabola cutting the x-axis okay b square minus 4ac more than 0 and a less than 0 the graph is a downward parabola cutting the x-axis okay if b square minus 4ac less than 0 and a more than 0 the graph is an upward parabola without cutting the x-axis it has no roots if b square minus 4ac less than 0 and a less than 0 the graph is a downward parabola without cutting the x-axis okay. From this expression, it's very clear, from this four diagram, it's very clear that look at a more than zero. If a more than zero, what happens, please? The graph is always in a unique shape, is nothing but an upward parabola. Which means that the expression has only the minimum value. So the first crucial point is starting, but if a more than zero, now simply at a glance we can say that the graph is or oh, it the expression has its own minimum value minimum since the graph is always an upward graph upward parabola it has only the minimum value number two look at these two ones please where a less than zero a less than zero look at the graph is is in a similar shape please it's a downward parabola downward parabola which means that the graph the expression has only the maximum value the maximum value so if a less than zero then we can say that the given expression given quadratic expression has only the maximum value having no minimum value it has only maximum value so look at the given expression okay look at the coefficient of x square is exactly minus one this is our a our raise a is the coefficient of x square very clear that where a is exactly minus one now we can say that it has only if a less than zero it has nothing but the maximum value it has only the maximum value and that maximum value is simply defined as 4ac minus b square divided by 4a and 4ac minus b square divided by 4a so for from the four diagram is very clear that that value will be 4ac minus b square divided by 4a 4ac minus b square divided by 4a 4ac minus b square divided by 4a in all situation that value is exactly 4ac minus b square divided by 4a now simply we can say that yes where a is negative then i can say that it has, it has only the maximum value and that value will be 4ac minus b square divided by 4a and just use this formula to find the maximum or minimum value of a quadratic expression yes and please put those values okay So in this case, our A is exactly minus 1 and C is exactly 4 minus B square is exactly 36 divided by 4A. That is 4 into minus 1. Now it turns to minus 16 minus 36 is exactly minus 52 divided by minus 4 and it's exactly 13. And that is our answer, okay. It says, it's, I think it's the best method for this question. Okay, to find the maximum value of this expression look at the expression 4 minus x minus x square okay where x square coefficient x axis i minus 1 is negative then simply we can say that it has some it has only the maximum value and that value will be 4ac minus b square divided by 4a and please put the corresponding value for a b and c it will result with 13 and that's why the maximum value i think it's best method and please keep these two ones in your mind as a shortcut method and that is enough thank you